Hello, my name is Rachel. I love makeup and I love getting things in the mail. So I fell for it again. I keep canceling my Ipsy and then restarting my Ipsy and then canceling my Ipsy. And they got me again. So, so this is gonna be a little bit of a rant and I, I apologize in advance. If you wanna skip over the rant, feel free. <laughs> but, so I got these emails, right? And they're like, come back to Ipsy Plus. You can now choose three of your items. We've improved it. It's so much better. And I'm like, oh yeah. And then, and then they show some spoilers, you know, some hints of what's gonna come. And I'm like, ooh, there are things there that I want. I see at least three items there that I would want. <sighs> and then, the way they used to have the Ipsy Plus set up, you could choose one item and you could choose the one item before the beginning of the month so you would actually see what your choices were before they charged you. So if you went through your choices and there was nothing in your choose one item choices that you were even remotely interested in, you knew that the box was probably not going to interest you so you could skip that month or cancel or, you know, not re-sign back up. <laughs> So they don't do that anymore. Now you have to wait until after you're charged <laughs> and then they give you the, the you know, chance for your options. So I work night shift. So I, you know, I sleep all day, but they were like, you know, starting at noon on this day, you get your choices, show up early. So the things that you want aren't sold out. And so I, I set my alarm. I got up exactly at the time to, to get my choices. And the way they had it set up was because you get to choose three items now, right? So they had three little groups of four items and you could choose one item from each of those groups of four. And the first group of four had all three items that I wanted in it. So there was no way I could get the three items that I actually wanted in my bag. I had to choose between the three items that I actually wanted. <laughs> and I'd only get one of them. <sighs> And I'm going to show you pictures of the, the, the items that were my choices. The items that, that I wanted was the um, face brush set, the Bailey Sarian eyeshadow palette, and the, I think it was Lovecraft Beauty uh, highlighter palette. And those were the three items I wanted. But they were all in that first category, so I could only get one of them. <laughs> and then in the second category, they had this Thrive Mascara, which I love. So I really wanted the Thrive Mascara. So that wouldn't have been a problem except for in the third category, the only thing in the third category that I would have even remotely been interested in was a mascara. <laughs> so I, I decided to forego the Thrive Mascara that I really wanted, get the uh, Ciate Face Powder, which I'd heard good things about, although I personally have never been super fond of Ciate. <sighs> I still, I was like, I'll give this face powder a try. I do need a new face powder and it, it, it at least looks pretty. It's like, you know, just a, a setting powder. Um, and then I'll just get the, again, Ciate <laughs> mascara from that third category because I didn't want any of the other items in that third category. The only one I would have even remotely had a chance of using was the mascara. Maybe I should have just gotten the two mascaras. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, and like I said, you know how they said that they were new and improved no longer even comes in a box <laughs> it's now just in a bag and you might be wondering rachel if you were so annoyed with your choices for the ipsy plus why would you also be getting just the regular ipsy bag well they no longer give you the makeup bag with the ipsy plus and i really wanted this month's makeup bag which was like a silver holographic makeup bag and i really wanted that makeup bag <laughs> so <laughs> instead of i think i did like one three dollar add-on but instead of doing the, I should have done the $12 Bailey Sarian eyeshadow palette add-on, but instead of doing that, I spent the $12 on getting the Ipsy, <laughs> the uh, regular Ipsy glam bag, so I could actually get the glam bag. So like, how is that improving? You're no longer going to give us glam bags. It doesn't even come in a box. And, and the, now you get to choose three things set up sucks because you, you really, you really don't get to choose, well, you get to choose three things, but you don't get to choose it from all the things. You just get to choose it from the things they decide they're going to let you choose from because, you know, they let me choose my three things from 12 items, but you know, they have a lot more than 12 items that you can choose from. So I, I'm guessing they go off of your profile, which four items they put into each of those little blocks that you can choose from. But that doesn't even give you, like, the ability to really choose three things you'd really want. I'm done ranting. <laughs>
<laughs> we're going to just open it up and take a look at what I got. Uh, and I did. I'm skipping September. I'm going to take another look again in October because, especially for the regular glam bag, they usually have really cute October makeup bags. And I really like their, their October makeup bags. So uh, I'll be revisiting in October. But, oh, gosh. Why do I keep falling for this? <laughs> So yeah, instead of glam bags, they now send it to you in a drawstring bag, which is what um, uh, was it Sephora Play used to send you things in the drawstring bag before they got even cheaper and started sending you things in, in the little plastic baggies before they got rid of it completely. Anyway, so here's the drawstring bag, which isn't bad. It's like a, a soft, almost silky, sandwash silky feeling thing, a little silver ipsy on it. I mean, I'm sure I'll find a use for it, but it's not a makeup bag the way that, you know, I'm used to getting them. <laughs> oh, and there was one item in here. Uh, it's the, the face brush set. So like I said, I did choose the face brush set. I chose the face brush set because I have a few face brushes, but uh, they're not, not, not the best quality. And they claim that this is over a hundred dollar value. This is by some company called LaRousse. Never heard of them, but you know, I, I've always wanted to try good face brushes. In theory, these are good face brushes. We'll see. I really like the way that the uh, little shape on that and it feel, it does feel really soft and it has a, a decent weight to the handle. It's not as heavy as you would expect from something this thick. I do like the matte finish and the, the texture and the gunmetal um, I forgot what these things are called. Uh, anyway, that part. <laughs> and then, like I said, the, the bristles, the, the brush itself does feel really soft. So are they worth over $100? I have no idea. <laughs> I wouldn't pay over $100 for a face brush set, but it's one of my five items. So it's like, it's because I paid $25 for the box, this was a $5 item to me. So that, that I'm willing to pay. <laughs> So, but yeah, they feel really nice. Anyway, let me, let me move on. <laughs> All right. And here is from the second category, my choice. Like I said, I, I really wanted another one of the Thrive Mascaras, but instead I got the Ciate Watermelon Burst Setting Powder. And it does have really pretty packaging. And it is cute. It looks like a little watermelon seeds. And it does have a very faint watermelon scent. There's a little mirror on there as well. So I'm not unhappy with that. Hopefully it's a, it's a nice powder. Um, it does seem to have a bit of shimmer to it, which I'm a little unsure about with a setting powder, but we'll find out. <laughs> okay, and then this, this was, cause you, know, you get to choose three items, but they choose two items for you. And this is the 111 skin which is, I know, a, a ridiculously overpriced face oil. <laughs> it's a ATP Sports Booster. I think these were also in, I, th I think I saw these in Boxy Charms, but it's like, I think the price on it was like over $100 for a face oil. <laughs> so, you know, that's probably way overpriced, but I mean, nice packaging at least. I like the little bottle. And I do love skincare, you know. Can't, you know, if, if, it's, if it's a good skincare, we'll find out. Let's see what else we have. Oh, and this was the other item that they they just chose. And it's a two eyeshadow pencil set. Just like a champagne and maybe a bronze. I'm actually going to put these aside and these will, <laughs> I'm already starting for my next, uh, saving up for my next giveaway. I have a long way to go. I'm not having my next giveaway till 1200 subscribers, but Never too soon to start saving. <laughs> oh, here's the, the Ciate mascara that I did get. Instead of the one I knew I loved and really wanted. Just uh, not going to open that up yet. I don't want to let air in. But it's Black XXL. So hopefully it'll be a nice mascara. And the final item, oh, this is, because that was my final items. <laughs> this this was my $3 add-on sample. It was just a uh, Glam Glow Bright Eyes uh, eye cream. So 
I like Glam Glow products. It was $3. I thought I'd give it a try. And they did include a card, but the cards no longer include the values of the items. <laughs> so I have no idea what my glam bag is worth. <laughs> I think that's kind of like, they're like, we made all these improvements. And then everything that they did to me does not feel like an improvement. I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments below. <laughs> Do you think they're just making all these improvements to save money? <laughs> so really it's not on our end an improvement at all. <sighs> oh well, that's, I'm gonna start complaining again. <laughs> but let's take a look at the Ipsy Glam Bag. See, here's the little holographic makeup bag I wanted. <laughs> I know I'm ridiculous. I didn't need this, but I was just like so annoyed that I was no longer getting a makeup bag. <laughs> that I just wanted it. <laughs> And again, they did include something not, didn't fit in the bag and just a little pack or brush. I always do enjoy a good packing brush. Never have too many eyeshadow brushes. I probably need to throw some of my old ones away at this point, so. And let's see what's inside. Okay, we're starting with Super Bloom Lush Eyeshadow in Bloom. And this is by IBY. And it's just a really pretty blush color. I'm not going to swatch that because, again, I'm going to put this aside, start gathering items for that next giveaway. <laughs> oh, and this is Confidence in Your Beauty Sleep. Skin Transforming Pillow Cream. So I guess it's just a night cream. I do like um, it, like face products. I've had Confidence in a Cream products before, and I really enjoyed them. So I'm not sad about that. And this is a cooling eye serum by Tony Molly. He always has cute packaging. <laughs> and this is, I believe it's an Ofer blush. Yep, Ofer blush in Bellini. Again, I'm not 100% sure if I, I'll keep that. I do have a lot of blushes and I, I never get close to pan on anything. <laughs> so I might actually, uh, once again, put that aside for for that giveaway. That'll eventually happen one day, hopefully before all this makeup expires. <laughs> and of course the same card. And there's never prices on the regular Ipsy bag, so. Okay, so that was my <laughs> Ipsy Glam Bag Plus and my Ips, or no longer Glam Bag, my Ipsy Plus and my Ipsy Glam Bag. And thank you so much for uh, listening to me rant, or if you skipped the rant, thank you so much for just being here and watching, and tell me your opinions in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, you can give me a thumbs down, but please leave constructive criticism in the comments below so that I can improve, and please subscribe to the channel. And I hope everyone is just staying happy, healthy, and safe in this incredibly crazy world we are living in. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye!